लेबल्स एवरी थिंग इज अबाउट लेबल्स विच स्कूल डिड यू गो टू विच यूनिवर्सिटी डिड यू अटेंड वॉट अवार्ड डिड यू विन विच कंपनीज डिड यू वर्क फॉर हाउ गुड इज यूर इंटेलेक्ट वॉट इज योर नेटवर्थ वॉट डू यू डू फॉर लिविंग how pretty is your girl how good looking you are or how many social media followers you have you get a label in return of each of these questions first you are labeled and only then you are allowed to live you are nothing without them my idea is to remove all these labels from my being and become liberated Say hello to the child inside. The day I made this song, he cried. 'Cause all he had was hope, no doubt. How he made this far in life. When I was young, when I was nine, they said that I couldn't look more fine. And I believe the word I hear. I know I did, but not this time. Leaving the darkness behind, we've come along through the light, and it shines nice and bright. Golden Everyone is trying to get ahead of you and they don't care if you die the very next day. All they care about is that whether you are in this race or not. And if you are running that race, boy, it is better to be behind them to be in their good books. I ain't complaining about it because I'm not in this race anyway. I can live upon my supposed inheritance. When your father is a lawyer who is creating the heaps of money for you, all you need to do is relax a little bit. I have a straightforward goal in my life. I want to record my presence here. This professor of mine, I don't like him. He does not like me either. As you may know, some of these professors have a lot of bigger ego to deal with. They think the world of themselves. Maybe they've got some brain power, but who cares? You can't argue with these professors. Boy, I don't want to see him, but I'd have to meet him anyhow. He has been calling me for weeks and I have been ignoring him. Hello professor. Hi James, here you are. Please come. And join me for a cup of coffee. No thank you sir. I am in a hurry. What's the rush boy? Nothing important sir. I received your email last week. It said that you wanted to see me. Yes, yes. I believe you're going to get your grades in a few days. Yes, sir, but I don't want to think about it. May I ask why? I think that I didn't do that well this time. And uh, do you know how well? <sighs> well, I'm not sure, sir. I'm expecting a dean your subject. Well, I'm sorry. But I think even D is out of your reach. Are you giving me an F? It looks like that. And that's why I wanted to meet you. You did almost nothing. I don't have access to your past records. How did you do your last semester? 
And what are you doing in other courses? Well, I won't. I don't want to talk about it. Only if you don't mind, sir. You're not allowed to exit it only because you should not. Well, that makes sense to me. I mentioned it because I wanted to let you know that it's okay if you're not doing well. Many students drop out and invest their time and energy in something, something they're interested in. It's perfectly normal not to graduate. After all, not everything is meant for everybody. Do you understand my point? Yes, I do. I just hope that I don't repeat more than two courses after this semester. Hopes should not be put over lies. You're telling lies to yourself and shaping them into hopes. You know the truth. Hopes are not lies, James. Professor, don't you think that the world is wrapped around nothing but lies? Schools teach us one thing and the world expects something else out of us. What we learn, we never get to do and what we do, we never get to learn. In the end, it's all about labels. <laughs> A degree is nothing but just another label. Don't you agree? If you're not able to achieve something, it is very natural to despise it. What you're telling yourself is probably just another lie. Our education system is of the highest quality. That it is difficult for anybody who is mediocre to sail through. And that's why my suggestion to you would be to find out an alternative for yourself. Mediocre. I forgot that you belong here. I like to tell you one thing, sir. That hopes are not lies and lies are not hopes. According to your logic, every hope is a lie. Boy, I would not like to argue with you unnecessarily. You would not be able to appreciate the hard work of the people around here. Highly esteemed faculty members, brilliant students, and excellent infrastructure to provide you the education within our limitations. What else do you need? What can I do if you don't want to work hard? You are not interested. And you know that. I'm sorry. But the only thing that I can do is to give you best wishes. Good luck. And close the door after you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you for your time. I didn't expect anything different from you. There. Hey, good to see you. Thank you for coming over. That's all right. Are you okay? I'm always okay. Are you going somewhere? Yeah. What do you think of it? Where are you going? I don't know for now, but I shall know it soon. You're gross. What about those parties? You said that we're going to have fun during the holidays. That's the reason why I didn't go home, yeah? <laughs> well, listen to me. I know that it sounds terrible, but it's impossible to know everything in advance. Hmm? Sometimes you have to do things fast and quick instead of waiting for an opportune moment. I think there's something that I need to do quick. I'm sorry for making you stay here, but I gotta go. Uh, uh, did something happen at your place? Is everybody okay? Yeah, they are fine. I'm not going home, but somewhere else. Where are also, you going? Also, I'd not like you to tell anything about me, okay? We never met today. You don't know anything about me. Do you understand? Where are you going? I just said that I don't know. Perhaps I don't want to tell you. However, I don't know it yet. Honestly, I could have gone without saying it, but I wanted you to know. Do you care about anyone but yourself? I was up the entire night. I was waiting for my results. My parents were worried. My family was concerned. My cousins were concerned. And I couldn't find you anywhere. No messages, no phone calls, nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> Fortunately, I've got some acceptances and if you're interested, I am going. Heartiest congratulations. That's good for you. Stanford, MIT. You don't aim to shoot anything less than that, do you? 
well i was hoping that you would apply and we would you would come along uh, i was counting on you but you're just walking over me i am not walking over you i never planned to go did i ever tell you that i want to go i am not leaving this place for anything or anybody listen to me we are very different people and we have not taken any kind of oath so you can grab your opportunities and go on i'm going to stay here what are you planning to do here right now i need to go to some place what place what place how does it bother you we are not together anymore okay listen listen i don't want to make you upset i know you are happy and proud rightly so but you should do your own things and let me do my things you're doing good you're good it's just that we are very different people weren't you supposed to meet the professor today yes did you is that the reason why you upset ah uh, no no i didn't meet him i didn't have the time i had to pack things here anyway it doesn't matter also listen to me once again you don't know where i am okay i don't want to be disturbed for the next few days i want to be in peace away from all the people i know so you're not going to tell me anything there's nothing to tell i think you don't have guts enough to actually pour your heart out come on don't be sentimental about it there's nothing to tell otherwise i would have told you can we stay friends can i still call you no i don't think that's such a good idea fine it's your life live it your way best of luck so long Hey there. Hello sir. Can you get me a room? For sure. Single? Yes, it will do. Okay. For how long you been working here, darling? <laughs> I'm not your darling. I'm sorry, miss. I didn't mean that way. I was just trying to be friendly. Sorry, sir. Just doing my part of being polite here. Some work you have got. you will be never remember for what you do does it ever occur to you that maybe your work is not that important at all <laughs> it is important for me sir it helps to feed my family pays my bill it gives me some kind of self respect it helps you to get a room here too you don't judge me for what i do do you sure sure you get offended really easily miss please uh, sign here sir just a second See, is he really in town? Who? You know who? Is he? Do you mean Ron Hall? Yes, who else? Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. There is some buzz going around about him. He better be here. What has it got to do with you? Nothing. I just need his autograph, that's it. Are you some kind of freaky fan? You can say that. I just need to have one good look at him. Here are your keys and uh, you can call on these numbers if you need anything. Thank you. Have a good one. You too, sir. Enjoy your stay. Sure I will. Thank you. Ron Hall is in town. 
Hey, what's the idea behind orbiting me? Where are you going? Why do you ask? What do you mean by why? I mean, why do you ask? I was wondering, would you like to hang around with me? Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think we could get along? I'm not sure. Maybe. Hmm. Where are you going? To the movies. Hmm. I could watch a movie with you. Why don't you take me along? Why should I? Is it a yes or a no? All right. Hmm. You can come along with me. You don't look that dumb. I don't. Wish that old professor of mine could say it. I just want to make sure that I'm bumping into no wrong girl. Don't worry. You're doing just fine. No, I don't think so. What the hell is she doing here? I know this girl who is sitting beside me. She's the most outrageous person I've ever met in my life. She was with me back in school. She used to spy on others all the time. She has no common sense at all. We are connected on some social network, but I hope that she does not recognize me. Boy, what kind of pictures she uploads all the time? I always think of those pictures as soft porno. Let's get out of here. What do you mean? Are we not going back to watch the rest of the movie? No, we are not. Why? I was liking it. But I don't want to see her again. Was she your lover back in school? She was nothing. Now let's get out of here. What's your story? What story? I mean, who are you? What do you do? Why are you here? Well, I'm just a regular guy. I'm here to see some old friends. That's all. What's your story? 
Well, I just like to go along with people like you. People like me? Hmm. There's nobody like me. You just said you're a regular guy. You are smart. I like you. That's what all of them say. You'll only like me enough probably just for a night. <laughs> anyway, what are you up to? Have you ever felt like killing someone? Yes, there is such a man who I'd like to kill. What about it? I'm feeling this urge to kill someone. Someone who is famous. Oh, that's weird. Why would you want to do such a thing? Well, I don't know. I don't like this place. I don't like this world. It's such a mess. It's all hypocrisy that I see around. You know they tell you you should not take advantage of your powers and yet people are doing just the same. And they're suppressing others, all right? Whether you are in a school or in a corporation or in the street like yourself, everybody's suppressing somebody else every time, every day, everywhere. Some people work so hard to make ends meet and there are some people who have just found a way out to steal and rule. You gotta have one power, one single power to dominate others and it can be anything. Anything at all. Why would you want to kill someone? Well, I've got this idea. I'll kill someone to tell those smart folks out there that anything can go wrong anytime. Buddy, you gotta take it easy. This kind of dominance would no longer work in this world. That's why. You're crazy. And not just crazy, you're not making any sense. Okay. Who do you want to kill? Well, I don't trust you enough to tell you that. Believe me, I've met a lot of strange people in this city. But you're the strangest. Shall we dance? You can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't love because there are people like you who want to abuse their powers. Why don't you behave like a good lad and regret your decisions? I bet you know what you've done there. Who are you, Baga? Buddy, you don't get my name but apologize politely. Why don't you just get the heck out of here? Don't say I didn't want you. <coughs> Start dancing. Please come inside, don't worry. Come. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You are really sweaty right now. Oh shit. 
Yeah, let me clean it up. I'll be back soon. It's a matter of day. There's a tomorrow. Today is the time to play. Yeah. Shabbily da ba ba da da. Get out of the way. Shabbily da ba ba da da. Got to stay. Shabbily da ba ba da da. How about them? Made the best to rest. She's a body. Heat up the sea. Ha ha. Ba da da. Got to play, baby. You can lie down here. Thanks. <sighs> I want to thank you for what you've done for me. For what? You fought that guy. I owe you. You don't owe me anything. I do it for anyone. Fair is fair. I ain't used to all these things. That's all. You know, since my father died, it is for the first time I'm feeling so secured. What do you like? What do you mean? I mean, what do you like to do in your leisure time? Ah, I like movies. Plenty of movies. What kind of movies? I like the old kind. The old black and white Hollywood films. They take you to a different world. What great movies. And I also love those dames in their expensive costumes. I love them all. Who do you like in those movies? Everyone. Grace Kelly, Carol Lombard, Marilyn Monroe, Betty Davies. I love them all. Any new actress? Oh yes, I like Meryl Streep. Oh, I started watching movies after Emma Watson. How old are you? Old enough to be here. Good night. I'm tired. Coming. Who are you? Who do you think you are to enter into my room like this? I hope that you didn't get hurt. It's not smart for a nice kid like you to get tough on this street. One of you is familiar with us. That's right. We are here for the girl. She didn't report last night. So we were a little worried about her. And if it doesn't bother you, can we start moving without hurting anyone? Wait, wait, wait. I'm not through with her. I want to keep her. That's a very positive feedback. In my business, I don't bring my personal feelings into it. I value my customers. 
If you can pay, you can keep her. I'm extremely sorry to disturb you. Do you have any money? If you're not able to pay them, they won't leave you in one piece. Don't worry about money. I want you to stay here and help me. Help you? I can't. I want to trace the movement of one guy. So we'll do it together. Do you mean the guy who you want to kill? Yes. Come on, I'm not going to be involved in all this. No. Listen, listen, please, huh? You gotta help me. Remember what you said last night? You said that you owe me for that fight, huh? So help me now, please. Please, please, please. Help me. <sighs> Who is this man? Rowan Hall. That singer. That's right, he's here in the city. That's why you are here. I can't do this, man. I like this guy. He's a good singer. Why would you want to kill him? You, you, Listen. you, you are crazy. Listen. I don't want to get involved. Listen! Let me go! Listen! I'll give you a lot of money. I'll make sure that you won't be traced down. Okay? I'll give you a lot of money. You can take all that money and leave this petty business of yours. You can have something of your own. You just need to help me. That's it. See, I can't even let you go now because you know everything about me. So why don't we stick together and it's a win-win situation for both of us? Hmm? I can give her the money. That's no problem. I'll ask her to move to some other state. It will be safe for her. She's a nice kid. I kind of like her. What I really can't tell her is that I don't want to end up in jail. I want to shoot myself right there into my head as soon as it's over. Boom. You know what? The other day I was watching Sabrina. Can and you shut up? I'm focusing on something. Something is wrong, man. James, everybody is gone. I'm sure he's not coming. What do you mean? This is the only way out. He'll be here soon. Something is definitely wrong here. How could we lose him? Oh, boy. Throughout the night 
I missed him. I'm hearing it now for the millionth time. What's the matter with you, huh? What do you mean? What's the matter with you? Why are you holding at me? I'm not the one who missed him. Damn, I missed him. How could I miss him? You're disgusting. We'll have to plan it for tomorrow, huh? We'll have to be extra sure this time. We must catch him. We must catch him. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's everyone doing? Ah, the gentleman at the back. I think you can help me. What do you want? Here's a deck of cards. You can see, all of them are different. All right? Now, I want you to pick a card. Pick any card, anyone. Yeah. Now remember the number and the suit of the card. Don't show it to me, and I'll put it back in the deck. Anyway. Let's get out of here. Lovebirds, lovebirds, lovebirds. I like to see you together. What a piece she is, isn't she? You are so young in life. In life, you can make money anytime, but you can't get younger. So enjoy life. Thank you for your advice. I wonder how it would be to have a world without people like you in it. Only if you know what I mean by that. <laughs> sure, sir. Enjoy. And don't forget about me. Hmm? I shan't. Let's go. Four bucks go round and round like the dollar and the pound. A hunter asked them to stop, but they said no to their pop. When five bucks go round and round like the dollar and the pound, a hunter does not ask them to stop. He just shows them. 
that is the pop. What are you doing? Nothing. Just reading something. What is that you're reading? Something. What is it? Do you want me to read it out loud? Sure. <clears throat> <clears throat> It is by Rumi. Why do you read all that? This is my source of wisdom. I learn from the poems. But this one here is some poor translation. Just read it. As you might come later to pay tributes with kisses at my resting place. Why can't you give it to me now? I'm that very person. I might be talkative, but my heart is silent. I don't know a way out. I'm forced to live this life. Who is that? I don't know. It might be the boss. I'll kill him this time. No, please don't kill him. Let me find out. Hey, hey, Dorothy. Can I come in? Ha, huh, sure. Please come in. What's happening? Shh. She's in trouble. We gotta help her. But why? Shh. She once helped me. I want to return the favor. But what happened? She got the wrong guy. You know, sometimes you pick up the wrong guys and they ask you to do all sorts of things. You know what I mean. What if he comes here? She, he won't. And we'll say she's not here. You got to help us, huh? Shit! Let me open it this time. You'll be fine. Shh, shh. Just stay silent, okay? Don't say anything. Yes? Uh, sorry, brother, to bother you. There's some girl running around here. Did you happen to see her? No, I didn't see anybody. Uh, can I come in and see myself? Would it be too much uh, to ask? Uh, listen to me, brother. You don't get a chance to have fun very often. How would you like it if I barge into you when you're about to have some good time? Hmm? Would you like it? Tell me. Yeah, I would not like it at yeah. all. Now you got me there. Sorry, bro. Was a waste of time. Find another one. It will be good for all of us. Hmm? Good night, bro. Good night, brother. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye. Is he gone now? Every man desires a weird woman, but no one wants to keep up. Such is an irony of this world. <laughs> Are you any different? I never said that I am. What are we going to do with her? She's going to be here for an hour or so. <sighs> I'm going to sleep. Hmm. Look, I can't be able to work tomorrow if I don't get a good night's sleep. Of course, of course. Hmm. Hello? Yes, I'll ask him. 
actually who called you boss you'll have to give them some money if you want me around sure we'll give them some on our way out great how come you never get any calls my phone is dead and i threw it away it's good for you too do you understand the situation professor yes sir what did you say to him nothing much i just asked him about his performance in other courses how does it concern you don't you know the policy that a professor should not ask or uh, investigate about the grades of the students in other courses what else did you tell him The gentleman has asked you a question would you care to answer it Shall I repeat the question for you I I just told him that he could pursue his other interests if he is not doing well in his academics that's it How did you become a professor in the first place I never wanted to become famous. You know, I always believe that it's much better to live a peaceful life without much attention. Can you believe this guy? If he does not want to be famous then nobody does. If he does not want to be rich then nobody does. How could be he so fake and unrealistic? I'm surprised to see nobody's shocked listening to his blabbering. If you would not have been a singer, what do you think that you would be? <laughs> Well that's a difficult question. Uh I I don't know. I really don't know. Uh um, maybe a waiter? You would have saved a lot of trouble for us. You know these are the people who are responsible for the unrealistic thinking in the minds of common people. The rack to the richest story, the emergence of the best, the most talented, the most unique person in the whole world. And who are we? Their followers? They worshipers I'd rather not comment Some stupid punks who are sitting in our rooms with our bellies full of beer listen to their stupidity their ignorance and whatever they have to say And eventually they move on to their unique paths We had a lot of creative differences and uh, we realize it's time to call it off Okay are you still It ain't going to work with me buddy You have no idea what's coming your way The other day he shoved the guy around who was just asking for his autograph Not just he pushed him, but also said him those words who nobody wants to listen in the crowd. What does he think of himself? We meet, we chat. You see, that's the beginning of hypocrisy, right there, right from his mouth. Am I supposed to remind you of your craziness all the time, darling? You are nothing but a fool. If you have anything at all, then why don't you show it to the world? Who is Cut stopping you? Cut this off. We do, I'll show it to the, the time, world. It's like a conversation. No. Well, thank you Mr. Ron. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks to you and it was a pleasure talking to you. Love Same. and peace. Thank you. Rest in peace my friend. Rest in peace. Hi. Um your number is 11. Okay. Thank you. Here you go. Please have a seat. Great. Let's go.
Marathi. Yeah. I can't understand why are we here. We are here for you. I don't like what you're doing right now. So we'll ask the reader if this is good for you or not. I can't believe you. You'd want me to consult a tarot reader to know whether I should kill someone or not. Hmm? Is that correct? Yes. Are you two married? No. No. We are just friends. Oh, I see. You must have come here to know if you can get married. <laughs> yes, yes. What are you here for? My son is ill. He's just ten years old. And it's just so hard to see him suffer at this young age. We got him after seven years of our marriage. Mm. We were so worried about him. We waited for a few days. And then we approached a doctor. And then the doctor asked for the MRIs, X-rays, and it never stopped. I don't know. Hey, Dorothy. Yeah? Let's get out of here. Come. Okay, bye. Let's get out of here. Sorry, we'd have to leave. Come huh? on! If I were you, I'd have colored me blue, for blue is the feeling that goes through. If I were you, yeah, I'd not have a clue, my world is cruel. It's falling through Blue is the sky The ocean is too They both are deep So are you We did it, we did it, all right. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? You are something. I've seen a lot of guys, but you are something different. How? I don't know. I don't know you at all. I don't know why you're doing all that. But still, I like you. Maybe I'm too dumb to judge you, but I like you. Well, I like you too. You're a smart girl and brave too. Hmm. I thought you'd give up and you'd be a rat. But you're a real friend. You're a real pal. So drink hearty as they say. Drink hearty, come on, come on. Drink hearty. Here's your bag. <clears throat> you got a pretty bag. Tomorrow it will be filled with all the money you need. Tomorrow is your big day. Tomorrow is your big day too? Hmm. Yes. Hello. 
I'm ashamed to bother you. Are you having a good time? Yes, till now, Viva. Good to know that. May I join you for a while? Do we have an option? I like guys who have passion. You are a passionate man, mister. Cheers. I suggest that it's good to have everything in control. It's one's responsibility to keep a check on one's passion. It can drive you nuts. Well, I guess so. One should fear such a passionate guy. Some should. I ain't against you. You ain't against me. Are you? Well, I don't see a reason. As long as you'll play fair, I'll play fair too. Playing fair is not something that I do. In my business, it is fair to be unfair. You gotta be unfair with somebody only to be fair with somebody else. It all depends on who stands where with you. You're right. Do you like this world, sir? Sure, I do. I'd not have liked it if I was a loser. I sure love it when I'm winning. Of course you will win. You are fit for this world, you are sure of your every move. Are you a religious man, sir? I'm not religious, mister. I'm not very educated either. But I like religious and educated people. They are smarter and cleverer than I can ever be. Now, I take your leave, mister. Lady, please enjoy everything here. Don't mind if I do. I am in dire need of it. It's finished. Do! You know how to shoot, right? Yes, I know. And what are your plans for after? I don't know. I'm gonna shoot myself. I'm not looking for a career in crime. I'm not Chapman. I'm not Michael Corleone. Boy, I should be able to do it right, huh? I should be able to do it right. As you said, I don't want to make a fool out of myself. I want to aim. I want to shoot. I still don't understand why you're doing this. It does not make any sense to me. Not that you're crazy. Just this doesn't make any sense. You're flunking some classes, that's all right. Just do something else. Not a big deal, hmm? Now you're talking like my professor, huh? There's no alternative. I gotta do this, I gotta do this. It's not about them, it's about me, it's about many more people like me. All I can say is that you're probably just a rebel without a cause. You're killing a poor singer for nothing. You're not going to get anything out of it. That's what you think, huh? That's what you think, yes. huh? huh? You're not in my shoes. And I'm not in your shoes either. Don't you hate the world how it's disrespecting you, huh? You've got no respect, no money, no home, no education, nothing at all. Your boss treats you like a slave just because you were not born at the right time in the right place. Darling, it's a crazy, crazy, crazy world. It deserves people like me, people like him, but not people like you. I take my words back. You are crazy. That's it. Can you sing a song for me? Sure. It don't matter, they don't love you All they wanna do is be above you It don't matter, they don't 
they don't love you All they wanna do is stay above you They try to come a bit closer In a hibition, all a bit further away It don't matter, they don't love you all they wanna do is stay above you I say hello to the child inside The day I made this song he cried Cause all he had was hope, no doubt How he made this far in life When I was young, when I was nine they said that I couldn't look more fine And I believe in the word I hear I know I did, but not this time Leaving the darkness behind We've come along through the light And it shines nice and bright in that that golden night Will you not come in, boy? I'm sorry, sir. I'm really sorry. What for? I left without telling you. Oh, I'm not worried about that. It's your grades that I'm worried about. You're failing in all your courses. And it's so terrible. What can I do, Professor? I'm afraid not much. I... I don't see a point for you to continue like this. It's okay if you're not doing well. Many students drop out and they invest their time and energy in something that they're interested in. It's perfectly fine not to graduate. After all, everything is not meant for everybody. Do you understand my point? But, but what should I do, Professor? Hmm... Why don't you kill Rowan Hall? Should I kill him? Oh yes, for sure. Nobody can kill him but you. But how does it help anybody? Can't you see? Don't you realize how much power you have? Don't you think how much more positivity you can bring in this world out of your anguish? You have a bigger purpose at hand. Don't you understand? You will become an icon. The world needs some change, some passion. And it's only you who can provide that to them. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> you are a big fool. <laughs> a big, big fool. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Whoa! That's a lot of money. I hope it's not some fake currency. Whatever you ask for. What's next? In an hour or so, he'll be leaving for his concert. I want to see him leave. And in the meantime, you can settle your account with the boss. Your bus leaves at 22.30. He'll be back around 22.50 or 23. I'll let you go and execute the plan. How about it? Sounds good. 
I'll see you at Obis. Just have a look at it. Yeah. So is he gone now? Yes, but he'd be back soon. James, why don't you just let it go? It would not hurt anybody. And you still have time. This is the only thing that I wanted to do with my life. This is my moment. This is my goal. I'd not get this chance again. I won't be this young again either. My morals and principles might change over the period of time and I'd also become a part of the herd. Why don't you understand? I do not want to have a moment of weakness when I'm this close. Do you hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. So stop resisting. And what have you thought about me? Well, you have got the money. You're better by yourself. We have a few hours left and you're going to stick with me. This is the last time we see each other and that's it. We'll say goodbye. I can ask you to go now, but I don't know what you would do. <laughs> so throw me out back on the streets. Is that what your principles and morals say? I don't want to listen to anything. Fuck. You are the most honest person I have ever met in my life, but I have to go. Please don't go. What would you get? I have to follow my fate, Dorothy. Come on. All the luck to you. Can you sign an autograph for me? You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Yeah. He's right here. He is right here. Just look at him. Look at him. Take your gun out. Take your gun out. Don't be a loser. Take your gun out. Is there anything else I can do? does not want to be famous then nobody does if he does not want to be rich then nobody does i just need to have one good look at him how could we lose him is there anything else i can do for you
I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Dorothy, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful companionship. So much more to life wish they'd able to see. 